Hey, in this video, we're gonna discuss a little bit about video remarketing. Um, I notice a lot of people have questions on this, plus you really can't find a lot of material out there that discusses how video remarketing works and the different things you can do with remarketing, like uploading different lists. So I'm just gonna walk through it real quick and then I'll get this video uploaded so you guys can check it out. So first off, I'm sitting on my YouTube channel. Obviously, I'm gonna use my stuff just to show you how we do it. So first off, I'm gonna use Ydraws. I'm gonna go to Ydraws YouTube channel. Okay, so here's a bunch of videos. Obviously, on your YouTube channel, make sure you have your website connected to it, all your social media, those types of things. But if you look at all your videos, you can see we have tons of videos uploaded. So if you're a business and you're using YouTube and you're uploading videos, well, the best thing you can do to get the most out of them is actually track the different people that use those, that watch those videos so that you're able to run them different videos. So let's assume that you're an attorney. Okay, um, you're starting to shoot videos once a month. Well, what you can do is target, you, you can upload your video, and then when somebody watches that video, you can cookie their machine. And when I say cookie, that just means that you're putting a little code on their browser that then allows you to market to them. So you can run them display ads, you can run them banner ads, and you can run them different video ads. So let's say on month two, you upload a new video. Well, at that time, you're then able to run that video as an ad to whoever watched your first video. So over time, you can collect these big audiences that you're able to market to. For example, let me go show you. So right now I'm on the actual AdWords account. You can go here and go to YouTube users. So once you have your AdWords account, you're gonna link it up to your YouTube and then basically you can track your channels. So here's all your options. You have viewed any video from my channel, visited a channel page, viewed any video as an ad, liked any of my videos, commented on them, shared any of them, subscribed. I mean, it's kind of freaky that you're getting tracked like this on YouTube. So if you're doing any of these things on YouTube, you are getting cookied. So let's say viewed a certain video. So I can go in here and build a list. It says, okay, if they watch, let's say Dr. J, if they watch this video. So right now the 125 people seen that video. So I can call this Dr. J video. I'm gonna keep this list for 150 days. Open, open, include users from the last 30 days. Okay, so now I click save. Now what I'm able to do is, it's building it right now, it's updating. This video right here, I'm able to run an ad to anyone who watches this video now. So let's say I open, let's say I do another video that's like this Dr. J that people like. Well, then I can just click on this and run anyone who watches this video another ad of another video and it's cheap. You're talking, it probably cost me 10 cents a view, which they have to watch out past 30 seconds. Okay, so those are just a couple of options. Um, let me go down through here and just check out some of the lists that I have going. Okay, viewed, see on this one, similar. This is something else that is pretty popular. You can see I have a list right here of 100,000 to 300,000 viewed my wait, wait, wait video. This is a similar audience. So not only can I target those who watched it, like the people who've seen it, I have 190,000 on there, but I can build a similar audience where Google will go out there and say, okay, we're gonna build you an audience that looks like the same people that watched your wait, wait, wait video. And then you can then advertise to them. Same thing here, viewed city video. I got a similar one of 100 to 300,000, okay? And you can't run them search ads yet. I actually think they're gonna be updating that, but you can run them YouTube ads, you can run them display ads, okay? So if you have any questions, let me know, but that is kind of how YouTube remarketing works. The gist of it is you upload your video, you then build out a campaign that cookies anyone who watches that video so that then you're able to run them ads 
when you launch your new videos. So it's just another way to keep track of your customers and I have to emphasize it is cheap. It's not expensive to do these things. Yes, there's a lot that goes behind a lot that goes on behind the doors that we don't see. It's all computers doing it, but it's very very effective. So if you have questions, let me know. You're always welcome to subscribe to our channel, watch any of our other videos. We have tutorials on YouTube ads, we have tutorial on Facebook video ads. Also, if you want Gmail video ads, which I'm loving right now, check out those videos. Here's some links and we'll see you later.